What's up guys? We're here with the brand new 21 EC300 Gas Gas Enduro Bike. Um, I'm gonna do a little bike check for you today, but first we will have a little bike porn. Got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. I could look at you all day, watch the way them hips sway. Love your body, so I pray. Don't you dare take it away. Can't control what I say. Lost my mind, cause your frame. Hey girl, what's your name? Lit me up just like a flame. So as you could see, we have a complete new bike, like everything is new, everything is changed and better. Um, yeah, starting off with the seat cover, it's a little flatter than the older one, but super grippy, the feel is really nice, I like that a lot. I would like to start at the front and then just work our way through the back and then, yeah, we'll see. So, first of all, we have the neck and handlebar now with the ODI grips, they're super cool um, because you can just screw them on there and don't have to glue them anymore. Then we have the electric start here. And what's really new is we have brake tech, brake tech uh, master cylinders for the clutch and the brake. Uh, so it's the complete front brake is brake tech. So that's new, but I'm used to it from the trial spikes where we used them for many years now. Yeah, that's working perfectly fine um what's really important about the clutch is the pressure point is steady and it just yeah feels the same every time um which is super cool for the technical riding which i do like you saw it on the the rear wheel hops or the back wheel hops and that kind of stuff so that's really important for that and then we have the front brake it's a 260 millimeter disc in the front and the rear we also have the brake brake system and we have a 220 millimeter disc i think we also have a complete new suspension setup on the bike now it's wp it's the 48 millimeter explore kit in the front super nice fork feels super progressive and i didn't adjust anything yet i just kept the stock setting and did all the riding all which everything you saw in the video was on a completely stock bike we didn't change anything um which is impressive, I think, because I could do all the technical stuff, even the double techniques or the rear wheel hops, but also on the faster stuff when we rode on the motocross track, it was really stable and soaking up all the bumps. So that was really good. And one thing, the triple clamps, they are power parts, so they're not standard on the bike. Also here, these straps in the front and on the back, they are not standard on the bike. So is the silencer, the Krapovich slip-on silencer. I just thought it looks super cool and I just love the sound of it. So that's why I have that. Then moving on to the frame, we have a, still have a steel frame, but it's completely worked over and there's a lot of, a lot of hours of engineering went in there and it just feels super, ergonomic so i just like the feel of it i the first day i was standing on the bike i felt right at home they really achieved that so frame is awesome and i really like the feel of steel frames because they flex and it tends to be better for enduro riding versus an aluminium frame which is super stiff and might not be suitable for that kind of riding but we do have aluminium on the bike and it's the subframe the rear part of the frame then we come to the one of the most important parts of the bike, the rear shock. It's the WP Exact. I am not sure how you pronounce that, but it's the WP Exact rear shock with the linkage system. Um, works super well. Like I said, I didn't adjust anything. I just rode it like that and it worked perfectly fine for me. We do have 300 millimeters of suspension travel in the back. I think it's the same in the front, but I'm not sure. But I really love the progressiveness of the of the system in the rear because it's just gives you the, gives you a good combination of like fast riding stability, but also of the progressiveness progressiveness for uh, like the, the more technical stuff. So that's really nice to have. And if all hell comes loose and everything goes wrong and you overshoot or whatever, um, you have the hydro stop in the rear shock. So that's the hydraulic. How do you call that end stop or whatever so it's it's not going metal on metal or full bottoming bottoming out so that's for that then we come to the engine um it's this one is the 300 like i said 300 cc two stroke model we have a six gear speed box 
Speed box? Six gear speed box? We have a six speed gearbox and the biggest change I think is the TPI, the fuel injection system. Um, definitely a big factor for everything. Like you don't have to pre-mix your fuel anymore. You have an eight and a half liter fuel tank here and you have an extra reservoir for the two stroke oil. It's I think 700 milliliters. So that should last for five or six uh, few loads on the on the big tank and you have like a, you have a little light here that indicates when you're running low on the oil so that's pretty cool so you can refill in time another advantage of the tpi is definitely you don't have to jet your bike anymore so jetting is not an issue anymore so you can run in the mountains or down on sea level and your bike will just run, run fine and always be crisp so that's super nice on those bikes like it's always crispy from from down low and it won't get too rich and like throw out all the the white smoke and stuff so that's reduced by like a big margin uh on the tpi bikes just because the mixture is set to like the riding situation so if you go wide open it will put more oil in and put it richer uh, then you're just cruising around and and riding slowly then the engine wouldn't need all that oil and it would just burn and, and smoke up so that's really the advantage of tpi i think the average oil to fuel ratio is 1 to 80. then let's talk about the clutch like i said we're coming from the Braktec master cylinder um, on top and we have a new system down here it's the dds system i'm not sure i've never opened it so i'm not sure how it looks like but i heard it's kind of the same than the trials bike it's not like the normal coil springs. It has like the Tellerfeder in Deutsch, <laughs> in German. Um, that's it about the engine. And now let's talk about the silver rims. I really love them. I think it it's gives the bike kind of a old school look to it. And yeah, there's like people, people out there, they're like, oh no, you should have put black wheels on there. It looks way cooler. I think it looks cool too, but I love it like that because all the bikes are now on black rims and it kind of simulates states like oh we're different we're new and let's do something cool so i really love the silver rims and also the cnc hubs that looks really clean and the bike comes standard with the maxis max enduro medium tires and yeah so that's about it so that was the little bike check with all the details and that it works in theory you'll all know that but now we can show you that it works practically as well unfortunately we're in germany and weather just got really bad and it's cold and wet and windy but we do have footage from the shooting we had on exactly this bike we will just show you all the clips now they might be vertical filmed or in some different formats but who cares it's about the riding and the bike and having the fun so check it out see you next time
Lion.